First of all, Pinterest is so underrated, and the reasons are many. I will talk more about this later on today. But firstly, why do we even want to do affiliate marketing? Well, in my opinion, it's one of the most lucrative side hustles that you can do. Basically, it's getting paid to promote other people's products in exchange for commissions. I like to best explain it as you're working as a commission-only sales agent for any brand or product you like. It offers passive income, which means that you can make money without doing continuous work. And you can do the work once and then continue to get paid passively every single month without having to put in more hours. And because you're not selling your own products, you don't have to provide any customer support. You don't have to ship anything anywhere. You don't have to deal with the exchanges or returns. And lastly, the cost to operate this is very low. But now what is Pinterest and why should we be utilizing it for affiliate marketing? Well, Basically, Pinterest is a visual search engine, and it is so amazing because it combines everything that we love about TikTok, everything we love about Instagram, so that visual side of things, and combines it with the SEO, or search engine optimization side of Google and YouTube, which just basically puts everything together to be the most perfect platform. So not only is it visual appealing, but you can rank at the top of search once you understand how to rank in keywords, which means when people are searching for things on the internet, your content can be seen by thousands of millions of eyeballs. In fact, you're not relying on any kind of algorithm that might or might not push your content. If you're utilizing the strategies properly, you will be seen because it's a search engine that follows a search engine optimized algorithm. Now, a little bit about Pinterest is that it is 70% women, all right? most of its users are women, which is an important piece of the puzzle for you to understand the demographic that's on Pinterest. So when creating pins and creating articles and creating affiliate offers, you want to think about the woman in mind. What are women looking for? What are women searching for? Not to say that you can't promote men products on Pinterest, because there are going to be women that are searching for gifts for their men, gifts for their dads, gifts for their sons, things like that. So yes, you can not promote man products on Pinterest, but make sure you're doing it with the mindset of what a woman would be searching for, right? Another piece of the puzzle is that 40% of the user demographics on Pinterest have a household income of $100,000 or more. Why is this great for us? Because that means they have disposable income. Well, most likely they have. And they're on the search engine platform to shop for something specific, right? What's great about Pinterest is a lot of people don't like to show their face on social media. So Pinterest is a great way to stay behind the scenes because you absolutely do not have to show your face. In fact, majority of Pinterest is relying on graphics or so-called pins to make sales. And like I mentioned before, Pinterest is incredible because it has that search engine optimization part, which means you benefit from understanding how the search engine works and how to get your content ranked at the top of search. And of course, it has huge traffic, right? So when someone is searching for, let's say, Christmas cookie recipes, your content is already ranking for those keywords, everything that is related to Christmas, that's going to rank you at the top. And what is the most likely thing that we're going to click on, right? We're going to scroll through and we're going to click on something that is most likely on the first page. You don't ever go to like the fourth or fifth page. And also Pinterest is also known to rank in Google search, which is huge because how many billions of eyeballs are in Google every single day looking for answers, looking for the solutions to our problems, and you can be that solution. Another amazing thing about Pinterest is it allows you to link directly from your graphic, that is from your pin to wherever you want. You know, there's a lot of these products and I could just show you this. So whether you have a landing page, a blog, an affiliate link, you can just link the people directly. And this is so crucial because every other social media platform, well, you have to rely on your audience member to click and go through a series of hoops. You're always like, go to the link in my bio, go click my website, right? And then you have to rely on the audience member to take several steps. They have to click on your profile, they have to click the link, and then they just have to follow the train of links that are in that bio or on your website, right? So there's lots of room for people to get lost in translation, let's say, where with Pinterest, it's just short, direct, to the point. You link right to your pin. So there's much less room for people to mess up or to click off, get bored, become uninterested, and so on. So, how do we start with this? Well, first things first, 
we have to identify a niche. Basically put, a niche is a category of interest. Makeup, skincare, fashion, dogs, woodworking. Choose something that you like or certain product that you may already have in mind. Number two is finding a pain point within that niche. Maybe your niche is dogs because you're a dog trainer and you have lots of knowledge on dog training. The pain point within that niche might be someone who just got a new puppy, let's say, and they just don't know how to housebreak it, or they don't know how to train it because it's their first time ever having a puppy, right? There's like a young person, fresh out of college, was feeling lonely, got a dog, and now, hey, I don't know how to train this thing. I never had any experience training a dog before. This is a pain point, right? And number three, we're gonna find a solution. We're gonna find a solution that solves the pain point. Maybe courses that teach you how to train your dog. Maybe specific harnesses that help you train your dog. And of course, the step four, whatever that service, company, program, whatever you have in mind, then you just have to apply to be an affiliate for it. And when you get accepted, when you just make everything ready for it, then you will get a special link. And whenever someone clicks on that link, makes a purchase, you are gonna get the commission for it. So it's not rocket science. However, it is not a get rich quick scheme. You will not get any money out of this if you don't dedicate yourself, just like with anything else, right? So yeah, there is work involved, but let's face it, you just have to sit there at your computer and you just have to click things. So what do we have to do? Of course, make yourself an account, email address, password, you know how to do it. Now, what is important is that you switch over to a business account. I just made brand new account so I can show you how it's done. So business account, all you gotta do is when you land on your first newly made profile, whatever, or your old one, just head over here on these arrows and you will have this convert to business. Alternatively, that's gonna be in the settings if it doesn't show up here. It's gonna be on settings here and then go to account management, which is over here. And then there's like convert account. Click on convert account. They tell you, what do you get with this one? It's free, of course. Click on upgrade and it's done. Now you have a business hub. That's what they call it. That's the step number one. Now, what do we have to do next? We have to do some keyword research. So in order to do that, we have to optimize our profile as much as possible. So to do this, we're just gonna go over to our home feed, click here, and then click on home feed. And we're just gonna search for some random things in our niche. For this example, I'm gonna choose the woodworking niche, which basically means people that are DIYers, that are looking to like for projects to build, maybe they, I don't know, build shelves, maybe they're home renovators, things like that. So we're just gonna look up woodworking and see what pops up. Now, the good thing about this one is that when you type anything here, so as you can see, if you just type woodworking, you're gonna get a lot of these suggestions. So this is what people are searching for, woodworking tips. As you can see, people are really searching for it. The best one is what work in projects. Then you've got like shop projects, ideas table, projects that sell. So there's people making money with this, right? And if you click on something like this, you will get pins that are ranking. So we can see some of these things. So what work in projects, ideas, the best what work in products to sell on Etsy in 2020 five top tips before blah, blah, blah. And there's like many of these right now. We can kind of take a look at these titles and you gotta see what other people are doing, which keywords they use. Honestly, a lot of your work is gonna come down to this. Look at what other people are doing within your niche, your competitors, and then just recreating ideas, not copying the ideas, just recreating those. And the reason is simple. If it works for them, it's definitely gonna work for you as well. And I definitely recommend open up a Google Sheet or an Excel Sheet and keep track of all the keywords as you go through the keyword research portion, right? Another thing that you can do is you can go over here to Pinterest and then you've got this, analytics under analytics, you've got trends. Now this is gonna show us everything that's trending in general. And of course, we can just type in woodworking. And why I love this so much, as you can see, you've got the graphs right away. So you can search through these keywords. So for example, let's just click on like the basic one, what working. And as you can see, this is the graph and it peaks somewhere around January. 
But last year, as you can see, it peaked around June. So yeah, June, May and June and started, it started to go up. So this is when people are doing it the most, right? So the good idea is to start doing this in January, right? To make a lot of pins. So when it peaks, you can be one of the top people at rank for those keywords. And this is going to work for any niche. Just type it in there, check out the graphs and you will see when do they peak, all right? When do they get those like huge spikes? As you can see, for example, projects or woodworking tips, as you can see, it was in April. So yeah, people are doing it sometimes around that time. And even now, now in February, March, yeah. So good rule of thumb is to start two to three months before. I'll just show you like for Christmas, you know, when it's gonna be at the peak, right? So yeah, if you make Christmas things in September and going through October, November, well, you're going to have a good time. Okay, the next step, make your profile look good and make it related to your niche. Just optimize it, make a cool picture, put a nice banner, make a good name. And of course, you can use AI tools to do that. This is namelex.com. If you type in any keyword, it's gonna give you a lot of names that you can use. This is looka.com. This is gonna make you a logo. Just enter your company name, which you've made with Namelex probably, and then it'll put out a lot of good pictures for your logos. For banners, you can use canva.com or for logos as well for pictures. It's free, it's really good. And this is where you will make your pins as well. And then of course, just find the products. For me personally, I just like to use digital products. That's why I use Digistore 24 and sometimes ClickBank. So for example, let's just, I can show you all of these like different categories here and there's like huge number of products, but let's just stick to like our niche for this video's example. So I'll just type in wood, you just type in whatever, and I will just scroll down for you to see. So let's just take, well, let's just take this. So woodwork 101. Now this is the perfect product for woodworking niche. And I suggest finding something general like this, because as you can see on Digistore 24, if I sell any one of these, I'm going to receive almost $40 for it. All right. So for each sale, I'm going to get $39 and it's just great. You know, so what do you have to do? You have to promote now this on Digistore. This is going to be my link, my affiliate link. And now all I have to do is to make similar pens to what these other people are doing. And of course, I told you, just recreate the ideas. Go and see how other people are doing it and then just use Canva, all right? There's a lot of tutorials on Canva. I'm not gonna go over it. I'm just telling you, get the inspiration from Pinterest as well. And then just place your links. But you don't have to have a website. For this, I use medium.com. And this is a free blog, you know? You can just write your own articles here and you can just paste a lot of affiliate links in your articles. Just click here on write once you might make yourself an account. And of course, use our friend ChatGPT. Who doesn't like using ChatGPT these days? Write yourself a lot of articles with that. Copy and paste on Medium and your pins are gonna do the work. All right, and the most important part about this one is for you to be consistent. Make two to four pins each day. The more you do, well, the more chances you're gonna have. And of course, with experience, you're just gonna get better and better. And no, you don't have to write, you don't have to be a graphic designer, you don't have to pay for any of these tools, you just have to sit there and be dedicated, all right? A lot of people just try and they just give up in the first few months. Don't do that. It is possible. If, if all these people are doing it, it's possible and you can do it as well. So wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.